Welcome to our video. We're going to be shrinking our, our cats to make lapel pins. This is the gold cat that I'm about to shrink. I'm using the hairdryer heat tool to give some control and I'm also using the wooden block which helps contain some of the distortion of the cat as you can see. It can be a little bit scary but keep going. And I'm just gently putting the wooden block over just to flatten it. This time we're using the silver cat and I'm going to ink up a pattern to stamp over the top. In this case it's the dotted circles from Indigo Blue and I'm using a stays on ink. And then we shrink our silver cat. I have speeded this video up because we've already seen the shrinking before. We have our shrunken cat and I'm going to be now covering it with embossing powder. I'm using the Stampendist Aged Black Embossing Enamel and I'm using embossing ink so that some of the enamel sticks to it. I'm covering the cat with the embossing powder. Then remove it and then we're going to heat set it. This one I'm using a different type of heat tool. It's more concentrated because I just want to melt the embossing powder and not distort the cat again. When it's cooled down, I'm going to repeat the process so I can add another coat of enamel powders. See, I've reheated it and there's still a little bit left, so I'm just sprinkling a little extra powder on to my cat and melting that in the centre. Powder is completely molten, I can just move it around slightly with the tip of the stick, reheat it to smooth it out, and now I'll leave it to cool. I'm now going to put embossing powder onto my silver cap. This time I'm using clear embossing powder so that I can see the stamped pattern. It's exactly the same process as with the black enamel, but this time obviously timing clear. Both our cats are now ready for the pins. So I just turn over and then I'm going to add a drop of super glue onto the back of each. And carefully put the pin back into the glue. And then I'm going to add a little tiny, tiny drop 
of extra glue to the back of each pin and then I would leave that overnight to set fully to give a good bond. Thank you for watching our video.